and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we are going to take a couple of our previous recipes and put them together for this beautiful trifle. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone that we have a, an affiliate link with Chef's Temp. If you need a kitchen thermometer or meat pro, pre, please check out the link in the description below and use code LOVEYOURFOOD on checkout. Uh, we also have a Patreon if you'd like to support us there, and I'll put a link for that as well. And in the meantime, here's our ingredients. So we've got some pastry cream, some heavy cream, some fresh strawberries, we've got some frozen blueberries, some ladyfingers or Savoirdi biscuits, a little bit of lemon syrup, and some lemon juice. And that's just to add a little bit of tartness in your, uh, in your dish. Now the first thing we're going to do is get our strawberries ready. So we're going to take most of the strawberries, and we're going to take the tops off and then slice them you know, fairly thin. Um, you want to save a couple of the biggest, nicest looking ones, and those are going to be sort of decoration on the top. The rest of these we're going to uh, macerate in some sugar to go inside the trifle. So just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of sugar, give them a little toss in there, make sure they're well coated and that the sugar is making good contact with the fruit. Now you're going to see a lot of the uh, sort of syrup and the juice come out of the fruit as they sit for a little while. And they're just going to sit there getting sweeter and more delicious as the sugar sort of soaks in and uh, they release some some of that beautiful uh, strawberry juice. Now we've got a little bit of Grand Marnier and sugar and our heavy cream. And we're gonna make some whipped cream out of this. Now this is after, we're starting this after we've let the strawberries sit for a little bit of time. And we're just gonna whip this. We've got uh, just a stick blender to whip this into whipped cream. And we're gonna combine the whipped cream with the, uh, with the pastry cream. Now we had some leftover pastry cream uh, from something else and it had been sitting around for a couple of days, and it wasn't quite as stiff as it should be for this, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. And uh, we're gonna combine it, just sort of fold it gently with the whipping cream, uh, or the whipped cream. And these two are gonna combine very, very nicely and uh, sort of um, make a little bit of structure for the whipped cream, and the whipped cream is gonna add a little bit of lightness and fluffiness to the pastry cream. Plus, you've got all that beautiful vanilla flavor in the pastry cream as well. And uh, the Grand Marinier, that little touch of orange in the whipping cream. And there you go. So now we're just going to start making some layers. So we're going to start at the bottom with a layer of our uh, ladyfingers, which we baked just uh, earlier in the day. And I'll put a link, uh, they'll put a, I'll, there'll be a card somewhere around here with the, uh, the link to the video for the ladyfingers. And uh, then you're gonna put just a thin layer of our cream c combination here. So this is the pastry cream, whipped cream combination. You can see those nice little uh, uh, vanilla pips in there. Then we're gonna put a layer of our macerated strawberries. So the strawberries are gonna go in next. And you want a good layer, you want to, I mean, be generous with your fruit for sure. You want, this is supposed to be a celebration. <laughs> it's, it's really delicious as well. And the more fruit you use in there, the more delicious it is. So we're going to uh, add a little layer of the um, cream over top of the fruit. And then we're going to make a really quick little uh, sort of soak for the uh, Savoirdi biscuits. And this is just a little bit of that lemon syrup, which is just uh, lemon peels boiled in sugar water. And a little bit of that lemon juice. We're just going to mix those together. And we're just going to brush those onto our biscuits. So here we go. Another layer of our biscuits here. Do try and push everything down and try and get uh, bubbles out as much as you can. Now, we did make a bit of a tactical error in our uh, serving bowl size. It's a little too small for the amount of material we had, which you'll see at the end. But, um, I mean, who'd complain about too much trifle? I don't know. Uh, so we're just going to give a little brush of uh, the, the syrup and juice there. Add in some of the blueberries. And, of course, lemon and blueberry is a classic combination. And then another layer of the uh, cream combination. On top of that, another layer of the biscuits, our little ladyfingers. We actually use quite a bit on that layer. Uh, you do want some of that crispy, crunchy texture in there, a little bit of that uh, syrup. And then if you want to get really fancy, you can do this beautiful thing with the strawberries. Just push them down around the outside and you have this really nice layer of strawberries that show all the way around the outside of your dish. Now, if you have to wipe the inside of your dish from time to time just to keep it clean, that's not a problem. Do that, uh, do that if you feel like you have to. A little bit of that beautiful strawberry syrup in there as well. 
and then we're kind of pushing it here, but we're going to add a layer of the cream on top of the strawberries. And then on top of that, we're going to add another layer of the biscuits. Uh, and some of these are a little bit misshapen, that's fine. And a little more of the syrup and juice combination. And then to finish it off, as much of the rest of the uh, cream combination as we could fit in there. Now you can see this is right up to the top. Um, which does make serving it a little tricky. Um, but again, no one's going to complain about too much trifle. Uh, it's delicious. Um, and then a little bit of decoration on top. So take some of the nicer, you know, most strawberry looking strawberries. You can just give them a little quick cut around the, uh, the capsule on the top so that they're easy to remove uh, for your diners. And, but not, like just give them three little cuts that don't quite connect. And then a strawberry fan is really, really easy. Just do cuts most of the way through of a really nice sort of broad strawberry and you get that nice uh, sort of fan pattern going on. And that's always a beautiful look on top. So we're just gonna add a little bit of the macerated fruit. So a little bit of the blueberries and strawberries on the top. And then our fresh sprig of mint, which is a little bit traditional for this sort of thing. And our fan strawberry as well. And then the rest you can just sort of give to everyone as you serve it. Now we let this sit in the fridge for a little while because we just wanted to sort of let it stiffen up as much as it possibly could. Um, but it still went over a little bit. If you're this uh, full, if it's this packed into the dish, do put it in another dish before serving because you will make a mess. And the idea is you want to try and get, you know, a nice cut all the way down to the bottom and get layers of everything together. Uh, no matter what, and when you serve a trifle like this, it's not going to look pretty in the bowl, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, you can garnish it with a strawberry on top, a little bit of that mint as well. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Super, super delicious. We used frozen blueberries. You can use fresh if you like. If you do use fresh, we do recommend you uh, sort of macerate them like you do the, uh, the strawberries as well. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. We'd like to thank all of our patrons on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. And remember to love your food.